Greetings folks, welcome back. This here is the X170 Clevo based laptop and this one is the ZTech PC version. I had actually reviewed this roughly a month ago. It's been great and the only reason I still have it here is because I needed to do a follow-up video just kind of talking about the the latest Prima BIOS as that's been available now for a little while as far as being preloaded or pre-installed on these devices which is great. Only Prima partners will have access to this is that this is not something that will be available uh, for you to just go ahead and download. So if you've already purchased one of these from ZTech and wish to have your BIOS flash with the latest Prima BIOS, should it not be pre-installed? And honestly, very few of you will be running into that as those that have made their purchase within, I'm sure, the last couple of weeks and then moving forward, will have this flash to their rig. And this will be the last video about the X170. After this, it's going to get reset and then sent back to ZTech as this is their computer, not mine. And I just want to let you guys know what has been done. I have been talking with Prima back and forth. And, you know, I've been using this machine um, pretty frequently for the last month. And it's been really great. And there's a lot of things that I like about it. It's a very high-end device. Watch my review. Let me know what you think of it. What I have here is just a little cheat sheet that talks about all the things that I had asked Prima. He responded back. It all pertains to the most uh, recent BIOS that we have here. So uh, one of the things I asked him was, what about the, the RGB lighting? Can we control that within the BIOS? Should we wish to just remove the, uh, the control center altogether, the Clevo control center? Because for me personally, as a, as a power user and coming from desktops you know, many years ago, uh, any proprietary software would be something I would tend to to steer clear of just from my own personal past experience. I want things to be simple and I want to be able to control everything within the BIOS. And I've got some good news and bad news here. So the bad news is you cannot control the RGB of the keyboard within the BIOS. However, should you wish to change your RGB lighting to whatever it is that you see fit, save it in the uh, the Clevo Control Center and then delete the Clevo Control Center, it will actually save to the BIOS, which is pretty cool. So technically speaking, from that aspect, you don't really need Clevo Control Center if all you're doing with it is controlling the RGB. You'll just have to reinstall it should you get tired of your current setting and wish to change it. So I thought that was pretty neat. It is what it is, better than nothing. Now, when Prima and I talked about frequencies, uh, he said that if you want this to run at 5 gigahertz, this is the, the 10 core i9 in here, that you had to set the spread down to zero. So right now, the factory spread here is at 45, and he said to set this to zero, and you should be able to get 5 gigahertz, uh, I'm assuming all core, out of that CPU. And this is going to be one of these things where your mileage may vary. This is this is a big boy system here, okay? And you can't at all just copy and paste what I'm gonna show you without there being some negative side effects to at least 50% of you out there. And that goes for all those that have this exact same spec, okay? There's gonna be some variance in the silicon with what kind of voltages uh, can be run per frequency. Hopefully that makes sense. And so through ZTech, it's my understanding too that you can order um, specific bind chips under various stages too to get like the highest clock at the lowest voltage possible, which is awesome. And that's something that does take a lot of work. And of course, that's not free of charge. But if you want the best of the best, then that's probably where you're going to want to, you know, uh, point is uh, in that direction with ZTech PC and this X170. So I don't get paid to say any of that, guys. These are just facts. So it is what it is on that. Uh, Prima said to set the spread to zero, and so that should enable the uh, the highest um, you know frequency of, of five gigahertz on this particular CPU. So that's that's pretty cool. Clevo apparently messed up on the multiplier link, which means adjusting the frequency is something that you'll have to do within let's say XTU Extreme Tuning Utility. Uh, it will save permanently to the BIOS after that, and you can actually remove XTU from the system. So that's just a bit of a workaround at this point in time. I would imagine without actually being told, the only way that could be addressed would be for Clevo to fix that on their end, and then Prima would then have to get a hold of that BIOS and then remodify all of it to, uh, of course, uh, apply that particular fix. So, at least for right now and for the foreseeable future, your uh, frequencies can be adjusted with XTU software, set it, delete it, 
and forget it. So that's pretty nice. Now, as of right now, Prima has adjusted the core voltage offset with a, let's see, negative 90 millivolt undervolts. Um, and that's just to kind of offer a broader stability for uh, overclocking your memory and things like that. Uh, you can always change that to like a 100 millivolt undervolt if you wish, whatever is stable on your system ultimately. And that's again, gonna be one of those things where it just depends on the silicon luck of the draw, or should you opt for a binned solution? There is no binning on the CPU. Uh, so yeah, just a heads up, whatever results you saw from my review was pretty much, you know, kind of standard minus the thermals, because there are some physical mods done to this machine that uh, kind of make it special. Now, another thing, you can set the multiplier within the Clevo Control Center should you still wish to use that software uh, with the hardware here. And by all means, there's no reason why you shouldn't if you don't have a problem with doing so. That should not be a big deal. And uh, Uncle Webb is currently working on a 10 core support update for throttle stop. So that way you can use throttle stop to do some tuning and testing. But Throttle stop will not save any of the settings into the BIOS, so it's just better for testing that it is a, a uh, you know, fire up throttle stop, set it, delete it, and forget it. Throttle stop doesn't uh, take control of your system hardware like XTU in that way. But just a heads up, Uncle Web is working on an update that will support 10 core Intel based CPUs, such as this unit here for laptops, and that's pretty awesome. So at this point, this mod is relatively plug and play for the most part and Prima has removed the power limit throttling from the CPU completely and so now you are at the mercy of thermal throttle limitations and that is pretty awesome. Uh, furthermore on most laptops when you combine a GPU and CPU load at the same time the CPU will typically throttle its wattage down just is sort of a safety mechanism to not burn the system up. And this laptop can handle so much more. And as a result, that limitation has been removed. So you can simultaneously get the maximum power of the GPU and the CPU at the same time. And there's enough wattage to power the system and enough cooling efficiency with ZTEX mods to ultimately enable that and give you that kind of headroom that the extreme power user may wish to see. There's a lot of options in here for the extreme power user, and I believe you can even um, overclock with the BCLK and even increase the temperature thermal throttle point of the CPU beyond 99 degrees Celsius. And obviously, do that at your own risk. That's not something I would do, but ultimately, you're you're kind of limitless on this for a laptop. It's it's pretty spectacular in that regard. So uh, hopefully that's something that you, you wish uh, to see and hopefully can enjoy. And finally, if you are after those benchmarks and let's say you're after the highest fire strike score, you're gonna wanna run this on the Windows 1809, which is a, an older build, but it will offer the best fire strike scores or so I'm told. And if you're gonna run you know, all their types of benchmarks, the latest build tends to work out just fine. So that pretty much sums it up. You know, I could spend a lot of time tuning and tweaking on a system like this and show you my results, but that is a big waste of time for us both because even if we purchase the exact same rig, there is so much variation with just voltages alone on a system that can be tuned with this level of detail that out of 100 people, maybe 10 of us at the most would be able to get similar if not identical results and everybody else is going to be a little bit different. So I kind of wanted to cover some solid basics and basis that Prima had provided on this particular machine just to kind of give you an update as to what's going on. And honestly, I think this level of flexibility and you know in-depth um, adjustability on a laptop is just something that's pretty much long gone over the last couple of years. And to see this come back in this machine is it's really eye-opening. It's a lot of fun, but it's also one of these types of systems that I am not gonna be able to sit down and hold your hand and walk you through because there's gonna be so much variation, even with the system spec identical for me to even be able to help you, let alone those that wish to opt for different CPUs or those that wish to opt for this build from another vendor. I mean, best of luck to whichever way you desire going this is a really nice system, and I think, I know the best version you can get right now is through ZTech. And if you're a little confused as to why, 
watch my review. It's pretty short and sweet. It's very detailed and it should give you a nice understanding and insight as to why this is probably the best version of this chassis that you can buy flat out. All right, folks, that's going to do it. That is all I have to say. Further about the uh, Clevo X170 from ZTech PC, I'm Bob Voltrates, and I hope to see you in the next video.